Mañana por la mañana escucha mi voz. te estoy llamando, madre mía, que aquí voy yo. Pero un amigo mío me enseñó a hablar en dominicano en Haití. Y después de casa me trajo aquí para hablar. Ay, dilo, no te estoy llamando, que no sé qué voy a When I first came to this country, I identified myself as a Dominican. I didn't identify as a black person. And it took going to college and taking African-American courses for me to determine that I am black. Yeah. The video was amazing. There was a lot uh, that was said that I didn't know. And I heard also other people in the audience saying the same thing, that they didn't know that we had that kind of history and that there were that many different peoples living in, in the Dominican Republic, so it was very educating. However, I want to point out something very important. I cannot say here in this documentary that we are necessarily black, that we are necessarily white, but what we're trying to convey, get across, is that we are a byproduct of all those groups coming together. Hi, my name is Nestor Bonti. I'm the producer of Dominican Identity and Migrations to Española, a film documentary about the Dominican people and the different migrations that have settled in Española throughout history. You're watching Boston Latino TV. Good evening. Here we are at Merengue Restaurant with Nestor Montilla. How are you this evening? Okay. Okay. Thank you for inviting me. And my first question is, what inspired you to create or produce the film Dominican Identity to Migration to the Hispaniolas? Well, actually, uh, the, the motivation was uh, uh, precisely the fact that many Dominicans moved to the United States and to other countries throughout the globe from the Dominican Republic, and they don't know much about who they are. So the motivation was basically, you know, uh, having information available so that we could begin learning about who we are as a people, as a people, the way we call it. Um, that's very impressive. That leads me to the level of racism that exists in the Dominican Republic. What measures should we take to actually change? Well, uh, like many of my fellow Dominicans, we, uh, we don't like that. And like I said, when we come to countries such as the United States, and we become what we call the diaspora, the Dominican diaspora, we end up educating ourselves, so when we go back to our country and go try to visit places like a discotheque and you are not allowed to come in because you are dark skinned and only light skinned people are you're not allowed to, to enter, that's really, uh, you have a problem there. Last question is, I know that this is your first year having a screening in Boston, correct? Have you thought about doing it at the, any other urban communities besides Boston and um, New York? Well, we've been uh, uh, screening the documentary throughout the United States. Uh, recently, we showed uh, the documentary in Providence, Rhode Island, and during uh, the Dominican American National Roundtable Conference. I don't know if you uh, heard of it. It was the 11th annual conference of the Dominican American National Roundtable, which is the only national organization that advocates on behalf of the Dominican community. Dominicano de pura cepa. Esta es la historia de un tipo bien dominicano, dominicano. De pura cepa. Oye, esa maldita vaina, oye. Lo sepa. Soy dominicano y de pura cepa Esto por el barrio andaba en chancleta Soy dominicano y de pura cepa Pasando mi niágara en bicicleta Soy dominicano y de pura cepa Soy parado hasta Donde quiera que llega se da notar Por su forma de ser, por su bailar Moviendo la mano siempre al hablar Hablando bien duro para impresionar Él se sabe los trucos de migración You're watching Boston Latino TV Bandera en el carro de su país Donde quiera que llega él dice así